Greetings, 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 family. This is Isis Love coming at you again with some more tools to put in your tool bag. Um, hope everybody's doing good today. Um, I hope that you're manifesting all that you need to manifest and you're releasing all that you need to release. Today I'm feeling a little bit sluggish. Um, there's not any sun on my side of town and I'm detoxing right now taking some detox stuff and I'm detoxing so I'm just feeling a little a little low on energy today so I'm not gonna make this video very long um, I just want to show with you guys my experience on numbers so I know a while back ago I came up with the video actually I got like a channel and I made a video about portals and I gave you a different um, I gave you a different aspect to look at the numbers. So I'm going to give you another aspect on the numbers. So numbers, as we know, the whole, numbers make up this universe. This universe is made up of numbers. And each thing in this universe holds a special mathematical vibration, number vibration. So there's number laws and number codes. So when you think about a flower that always, a same, uh, like let's say like a, um, oh, my head tie is coming off, one second. Let's say you have like a, um, a sunflower. It always has the same amount of petals. It always has the same mathematical design. Those are number laws. There's a certain law, there's a certain uh, vibration to that sunflower. Um, even spider webs, when spider webs are wi uh, webbed or weaved, um, they have certain num frequencies and number codes in it. So, so numbers is what makes up this universe. But what I kind of discovered was that when we keep seeing these numbers repetitively over and over and over, it's our thoughts manifesting. What we want to bring, numbers is the manifestation of our thoughts so let me break it down a little bit more so let's just say for example i've been seeing number 33 all over the place so we know number 33 is the master number number 33 is like christ consciousness um number 33 is a light worker so i've been tapping into all of that i've been tapping into the christ consciousness i've been doing my light work um, it's also, it's for uh, serving humanity. I've been doing things for um, humanity and just um, following my, my, uh, my soul purpose. So, of course, I'm going to see number 33 all over the place because that's the vibration that I'm emulating. That's the vibration that I'm bringing in. It's the reality that I am, um, that I am manifesting. So, number 33, of course, is going to be around everywhere because even when I do my affirmations, I say, you know, I'm, um, you know, I'm a light worker or I am tapping to the uh, Christ consciousness. So your thoughts are just sounds, are just frequencies, it's just numbers. So when we want to manifest something, the, the sound, the words that we put out vibrate and sing and dance into the ethers. So what you're wanting in your life, those numbers that you're seeing are manifestations of your thoughts. Because it starts in number codes. It's a frequency. It's a sound. And it comes together and it forms. Because every number has a, a melody or a tune. So that manifestation that you want is a melody. It's a, it's a tune. And it sings right on up into the universe. And then it bounces right back down here. And so we're seeing so many numbers so fast now. It's because the veil between this 3D dimension and other dimensions is coming to one. It's cracking. So the more we want stuff, the faster it's coming. And so that's why all these numbers are coming in fast. Is because it's also reflecting what we're giving off. What we're giving off. Because it even comes to the time where I can take my finger and I can be watching a YouTube video, a blog talk, or anything. And I might try to, um, you know, move the video back or move it forward. And for one of the numbers is 222. So, you know, out of nowhere, I'll push it back. It'll be on 222 or push it forward. That's the type of frequency that I'm giving off. 
we give, we don't just see these numbers, we give off these frequencies. These frequencies are us. We're seeing ourselves. These numbers are us. It's a frequency that we give off. Because there's no way in the world, it doesn't even matter if I'm on blog talk, if I'm on YouTube, or any type of video, if I want to rewind or fast forward, and I do it, you know, and I do it on the computer, um, or the phone, um, the numbers are there too. So it just made me see that the numbers are a type of frequency that you give off, what you're giving off. And it's also your thoughts becoming one just your thoughts going up into the ethers mathematical code vibration sound it's all vibrating <clears throat> vibrating in a certain tune in a certain frequency to manifest here on this 3d realm so like when you see 11 11 you know that's you opening up a portal you're going through a portal you ask for it. you ask for the transformation you ask for new beginnings you ask for it. So the universe is showing you that what you want is manifesting. That 1111 is probably from one of the affirmations that you said. You know, you probably said, I want new beginnings. Or you manifested on wanting new beginnings. So the universe shows you these numbers also to show you, basically, your wish is my command. And what you want and what you're saying is just coming out. And it's just flowing. It's just flowing. This whole universe is just numbers number code the number law we're just following the flow just like rainbows and the in in the in the uh insects and the animals they're all following the flow too they're telling us other things too i always tell you guys this that the animals and stuff are telling is telling us things even i just posted something on the, um about rainbows i had two of my sisters tell me that um that you know they went outside and um and, and danced in the rain and they released and after the releasal they seen a rainbow well rainbows signify that you're following your heart and as we know we've been told that if you follow um the end of a rainbow you'll get a pot of gold they see it as though if you follow the rainbow you are at the end of a cycle entering a new cycle you're finding yourself you're finding your heart. You're letting go of whatever needs to be let go of. It's like a release. So it's like when you see a rainbow, it's like the rainbow is telling you, stay on what you're doing. You're doing what you're supposed to do. You're releasing what you need to release. And it's also reminding you to get more in your heart and be more heart-centered. So I posted something on um, Facebook so you can check that out. So, um... So, yeah, keep watching the numbers. Um, when you see it, look at it. Acknowledge it. Write it down. Pay attention to your thoughts when you see these numbers. Because, like I said, the numbers are your thoughts. It's manifest. The numbers are you. You are the numbers. It's you. Just like the birds and the bees and all of that. It's all you. So, I just thought I would share that experience because um, I was like, well, wow, what's going on with these numbers? 33 number this 33 number and then i had read something and then it just really started making sense to me you know it's just like wow okay i guess you can see it as that as well like you know it's just vibrational codes also there's different type of numbers you have repeating numbers 111 you also have ascended master numbers 33 22 um 44, you have angel numbers, um, you have quote unquote lucky numbers, which you really know that there's no such thing as luck. So I would probably just say like your life path number. Yeah, number. So there's a different variation of numbers. And um, I just, I really know. Also, I did some more research on these certain numbers are, are frequency codes. So go online and type in the 111 hertz to see how it sounds because that that the number that you're seeing subconsciously you're picking up of the vibration of the number consciously you can't hear 111 subconsciously you can hear 111 is doing something to you is making you vibrate at a certain rate it could even be healing you some of these hurts 
heals certain parts of your organs. And so by just by you acknowledging, looking up at the car or looking up at your price list um, at the store and you seeing 333 three, three, or your total is 3333, I'm even probably giving you guys some downloads as, as I speak and I, I call certain, these certain numbers. This activating thing inside of you is, is part of the ascension process. You need certain DNA codes and you need certain organs to be vibrating. This whole avatar is going through a tune-up. So when we're looking at these numbers, we are tuning up certain things. Like, really just look at it. Like, I had posted something a while ago about these numbers having frequency codes behind them. You know, so it might you just might need to just go on there and just listen to those certain codes and really install those those these frequencies in you because they're not just happening just because we know that's not how stuff works on the 3d reality and also i like to bring up because one of the sisters posted in my group uh, uh, on my facebook page one of my facebook pages um about certain uh bugs locusts or some other type of bugs that make this beautiful sound it's a very long sound well, quote unquote, scientists and, and National Discovery Channel or whatever is saying that it's because they're doing a mating call, which could very much be true. But I see an even more deeper spiritual connection to the sounds that the crickets and the frogs and everybody give off. It's a song, it's a universal song. Yes, that's the word. It's a universal song. Um, that these insects are playing, they are playing their role. By them making these beautiful sounds, they are healing us. They're doing their job. They are flowing and they are the flow. We have to get into being the flow. So the bees buzzing and the locusts and the, all the other type of animals that make these beautiful sounds, just sit down one day and reflect and listen to it. Listen to the crickets, listen to the frogs. Because they're helping you, even the cats. The, there's been research of a cat's purr being so powerful that it's healing to you. And it makes sense why when cats all come up to you, they always want to purr and they always want to be on you. They're healing you. They're doing what they're supposed to do. They're fine-tuning your frequency in your body. It's like getting a tune-up for a car. So, um... Yeah, so um, just keep focusing on the numbers, and uh, a lot of people are hitting me up now. Just keep focusing on the numbers, and just, you know, I see the numbers from diff many different perspectives. There's no wrong or right to these numbers. All we can do is just come together and try to help each other crack these codes, because it's more than just, the numbers are more, more than just, just going on uh, sacredangelnumbers.com and seeing what they're saying. Not saying that, that that site's not good, because that site really does open up um, different perspectives about things. But these numbers are much more deeper than just angel codes. They're DNA activation codes. They are our thoughts being manifested. So just keep a... a, a, a Keep paying attention to the numbers and, you know, in the hindsight, seeing the numbers more with your penile gland and not with your with your physical eyes because you can understand so much more with them when you really get in the hindsight with these numbers. And like I say, I'll write the numbers. Sometimes I'll meditate to the numbers. When I meditate, I'll go 222, 555, 111, 921, 911. I'll repeat the numbers. When I make my sigils, I'll write my numbers on my sigil, or I'll just write the numbers anywhere, you know, just write them and, and just paste them in the house somewhere, because those numbers are you, it's your frequency code, start paying attention whenever you're watching any YouTube videos or any type of videos, and you want to make a replay or a fast forward um, on the video, see if your fingers are giving off that, that frequency, my body gives off that frequency, it even, and another thing that just popped up to me, I go through um, periods of time when my weight fluctuates. So I can, one time I was 111, and I've been seeing 111. So I was seeing 111 so much, my physical avatar's weight 
frequency frequency was one to one. And so I, I go through these periods of time where I'm not hungry at all. And then I go through so I'm like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna do it today. I'm gonna need to add a salad or some grains and some ligaments. And I think it's because our body fluctuates different weights because we need to be at different frequencies at different times. Like that one 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 frequency of my weight had to be that at that time. Now my body is saying, okay, you need to eat a little bit more um, so you could be at a certain type of frequency. So that's just something to pay attention to. Pay attention to your weight, you know, um, pay attention to everything. Like I can't stress it enough. You really just have to pay attention to everything because you'll miss it. Just like I told you guys before, I was thinking about somebody and thinking how this person's energy just didn't seem right to me. And then I cut my hand. And then ego stepped in and was like, nah, that person's fine. And then I cut my hand again. So some people would have just took it and just, oh, I cut my hand, ouch. Not even stopping and realizing that, yeah, you cut your hand because the universe is trying to tell you, yes, stay away from that person. So if you feel like you need to stay away from somebody, just stay away with away from them, you know, until you can sit back on and reflect on why you need to stay. Because sometimes our fear, when we don't, fear can just, wow, fear just stops us from so much because it clouds up your, your, your judgment. You don't know if you're doing something because it's divine, it's divine, the universe, my spirit is telling me to do this, or is it because you're fear you're still operating in fear so you're doing it because you're scared that's the difference that's why we have to really purge this fear out of us so we can have a clear understanding on things in our lives why are things in our lives why are certain things coming in our lives okay so that's all i kind of want to say um now this is time where I will answer any questions because I wanted to get that out and I wanted to make it fair for everybody to chime in but let me see if anybody has any questions let me know I ask I'm here um and while I'm scrolling through um shout out to my YouTube family we'll be on YouTube um if you want to reach me on Facebook it's Isis Love if you want to reach me on Instagram is Isis underscore love 511. So let me see. Let me see what you guys are saying. Mm -hmm. Yes, numbers all day, every day. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> yes, it's to hold your cat tight. Squeeze him. Because he's definitely there. And every witch needs a cat. <laughs> So I would definitely um, suggest you guys maybe get some cats because cats are so connected to the um, to the spiritual realm. Like that's why we use them back in Egyptian times. Yes, nine nine nine, sister. I've been seeing nine 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 a lot too, and you can just kind of you know it. Like I know I'm seeing nine 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 because I can feel that I am completing something. So it's the universe telling me you are completing this, and I feel it. I feel the complete. I feel it. I feel myself becoming complete. I feel myself going through a whole metamorphosis, even from my skin feeling. I know a couple of us, our skins are feeling right now. It's like you're going through a whole transformation. And, and in 999, I'm going to make another video about this. There's a portal. The 999 portal is opening up in September. September the 9th, 2016. When you add the 2016 in together, it's 9. So 999. So I'll be doing another video about that because I don't feel like getting into that. But yes, 999, I'm going to go deep onto it. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to make a video about that. So you'll definitely get ready to prepare yourself for the 999 energy coming in. Matter of fact, no, I'm going to make it tomorrow. I'm not even going to get into it because I'll be going for hours and I want to nap. Um, five, five, five. Hmm, five, five, five. What, what do you... Um, Ryan, what are you feeling when you see five five five? What is five 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 for you? Like, what are you what are you seeing? What do you what do you harness it in when you when you see the five five five? And I'm not sure off the top of my head, 
and what the five by five is. Um, so if anybody wants to help him out in this moment until I can like do a little bit of number research. Um yes, nine 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 again. <laughs> yes, please do a nine 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 video, sister. <laughs> yeah, um I'ma do a I'ma do a nine 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 video. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I'm gonna let y'all know about this portal opening up. And guess what, y'all? It's gonna be time again to do another cleanse because 